Oh, here's my latest rendition of the 300 volt washer launcher. I've added another row of capacitors, so we're all the way up to 7,000 microfarads at 400 volts. They're only being charged about 330 volts. And you can see four rows of capacitors. In the front is a fire button. On the right is the SCR that applies power. On the back there is a jack that takes the power over to the coil gun. And of course, you can see where 110 volts comes in and a couple of current limiting resistors and a voltage doubler consisting of a capacitor and a uh, bridge rectifier. The coil itself is now covered in steel that increased the power by about 30 or 40 percent. It consists of three layers of 20 turns each of 14 gauge enameled wire. The projectiles we'll be using this morning are these half inch bolts. Uh, we're using actually a traction here to pull the bolt and once the bolt starts moving we're going to launch it into a soda can. So today's experiment can we shoot the soda can? Please stand by. Okay, we're ready for our test firing. In the background you see a Tesla coil under construction. And here goes nothing. Yep, that was pretty good, huh? A little bit of damage to that can. And a little bit of damage to the wall too over there. But uh, definitely fired it. And now, presto changeo, we switch from the coil gun to a washer launcher. What we have is about 50 feet of 14 gauge enameled wire wrapped in a circle and covered in electrical tape. It's rather low profile. And the platters are hard drive platters removed from various hard drives. Who knows over how long of a period of time. And we're going to now try to launch these platters into orbit. Stand by. Okay, here goes the washer. Was that fun or what? 